This show is sponsored by ExpressVPN. Stop putting your online data at risk. Get protected at expressvpn.com slash funhouse. Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Comments Show. Last week, well, I guess it wasn't last week. The last time we did this, it was very eye-opening. I learned a lot about some of you and your inability to accept criticism from others, your inability to be humble, and I'm glad that we all agreed that I, James Willems, am the most humble of us all. I don't remember it that way. Yeah, I don't. I have bad memory. I don't I'm remember it at all. You were drunk because you were drunk, Lindsay, and John, you weren't even there. But we're doing something different this week. What's the theme of this week, Elise? We are picking the funniest comments from our community. The real gut busters. I shouldn't say this, but we are looking to replace everyone on staff with what? new commenters. And this is the way we're gonna do it, is by figuring out who's funny enough that they, they can go toe to toe with us. And so these are the comments that made us laugh. We'll be tracking these commenters, these users for the next 70 years to see if they can earn a spot at Funhouse. We're really excited. Good luck, everyone. Most people don't know this, but Adam was a commenter before he was a member of Funhouse. I, I thought that's how we all got our jobs here. I left a really funny comment, and then I got an email from Mr. House, and he said, hey, audition, you in? And then I went to an island, I had to fight off a bunch of Japanese children. I left comments on the videos disguised as other users saying, you guys should take Lindsay from Cowchop. I applied with my resume and got an interview and then got hired. That's not exactly what happened. The true story is that I was on a boat with a friend and that friend said, <laughs> you should hire this guy. And I said, send me as real. And then he did. So you, you were honestly a passive spectator in your own hiring process. That's how I roll. Out of all of us, probably John Holland is the only person who is here based on pure merit alone. <laughs> hey. No. I saw a comment that John Holland left on the Bugs Life trailer. He said that little caterpillar is funny. And I said, I also think we have so caterpillar We have funny. so much in common. We should be in the same building. <laughs> Doing anything, you need a job. All right, let's spin that wheel. It's me. Well, we're gonna kick this one off with a bang. This comment, appropriately enough, is from a comment show, the Wheel of Humility comment show, and it's from future Funhouse employee Donovan Wilmot. Donovan Wilmot says, anytime I watch Funhouse with my fiance, she always mentions that John looks like Don Carlton from Monsters University. The only similarity is the green shirt. Let me hit you guys with one more, just in case you didn't think that that was funny enough. I'm gonna throw this other candidate into the ring. Future employee, Paul D. Leave Lindsay alone. She's gonna be my future ex-wife. <laughs> that joke has layers. It's implying that not only will they get married, but the marriage will end badly. The implications are threefold. One, that I'm bothered by something or somebody. Two, that I'm gonna get married. Three, that I'm gonna get divorced. That's why it's funny, because comedy has to be it has to be something that you have to decipher. <laughs> That's the best thing about it. And Paul D is like the um, is like the Plato of comedy in this case. I like a guy who makes assumptions, especially about other people's lives. He's assuming Lindsay's gonna say yes, and then Lindsay's also gonna agree to no prenup. Lindsay, if you're into that, more power to you. Have a man who's in control of your life and tells you everything what to do, like a male Amber Heard. Adam's trying to walk back all the other things he said about Johnny Depp for all those years. <laughs> I, I saw the pictures of his and finger that got cut off. Did you see that? Oh, she I didn't see that. cut his fucking finger off. I feel terrible. What? We need to protect Johnny. Protect Johnny. That's a funny joke. You should be in Funhouse. John! It's me! I couldn't decide because there were so many funny comments. So what I did was I took a few comments about the same thing. This is from the fire up your dial up for RuneScape video. There's three comments all revolving around Ryan. Axer T says, it was cool of Ryan to use a webcam from the same year RuneScape came out. Kaboom, got him. Nice. Uh, and then Holden Vanilla says, I see Ryan is still using the local McDonald's Wi-Fi near the bridge he lives under. Why are you roasting Ryan? <laughs> and then Zap Rousedower said, how is it possible that even Ryan's webcam makes him seem more homeless? I got a real chuckle from those. Hire him. I say hire anybody that helps me push this homeless narrative 
about Ryan because I love it. Mm -hmm. He has a home address because I know that the, the court summons go somewhere. I went to go pick something up from Ryan one time. He had a hard drive I needed. And for some reason, I was at the address and I saw him come out of a cardboard box from behind the building. So I think he mm. might be squatting there and the people in the house don't even know he's there. Was the hard drive just full of potato chips? Yes. I want to hear from our next funny feature employee. Spin that wheel. Spin that wheel. This is more my brand of humor. This is future Funhouse employee, old school, with a bunch of, uh, I guess, Roman numerals on there. That's going to count against him. He says, Adam Kovic, skills equal bad at aliases. Adam retiring the dead pixel is like Peter Parker giving up on the Spider-Man persona. Maybe one day our hero will rise again. Now, I didn't laugh out loud. I just thought it was funny because earlier that day, uh, some of the Inside Gaming people had no idea that I started that entire brand for them. Oh, no. <laughs> and it made me think of that, and it made me laugh and cry a little bit. That one hurt. In their defense, show of hands, who knew that Adam started Inside Gaming? What is Inside Gaming? You'd live with one of it. Spin that wheel of unhirables. Hey! Oh, Lindsay. Close. Hey. Gonna be me. Here's a comment from Josh Green. I don't remember what video it is. I'll have to look it up. It says, Lindsay is just Walmart Elise. That's just how Ouch. it is. <laughs> I don't know in the scale of Walmart, is that better? Yes, Walmart has everything. Are they trying to call you great value or just like you're everything? Here's what I say. One, I'm flattered that I am a retailer version of Elise. But then also it's like, couldn't you at least give me Target? Uh, does that make me Sam's Club? At least you're the Jamba Juice inside of Target. Ooh. Okay, now those those aren't in every Target, are they? Can I be the <laughs> FAO Schwartz of John Holland? <laughs> hey. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Uh, bankrupt? Uh, <laughs> I have no comparison to anyone. I'm just pick and save. Adam, did you get your squeeze-its from pick and save back when you were a kid? I sure that did. That was my go-to place for squeeze-its. I pop that cap off, I drink it, and then I chew on that cap because I got nothing better yeah. to do. Oh, you did yeah. that too? <laughs> Everyone did it. Can I just say, Lindsay is a queen. She's a super center with a gardening subsection. I'd like to quote Paul D right now and say, leave Lindsay alone. She's gonna be my future ex-wife. <laughs> Spin the wheel of unhirables. <laughs> Since we are in the uh, the search for new employees, well, obviously we're here at Funhouse always looking for new show ideas. This is from Rick Cool from the GTA King of Clubs gameplay. When is John Holland's show about making inappropriate music? I would watch that. And I'm looking here at my future bandmates and thinking, when are we going to get this show off the ground? Everyone here plays an instrument, right? Yep. Absolutely, yeah. We all got it. <laughs> oh, God. I only have things that rattle. Hey, you got, yeah, maracas. Yeah, those are Tums, but that's fine. All we need is a tambourine and we're good to go. I feel like if Elise had that big recorder, then Lindsay should have had like a tiny little. <laughs> okay. Just a whistle. John, if you're gonna, if you're willing to write the music. Oh yeah, I've been trying to come up with COVID stuff, like let me shelter in them cheeks or something like that. I don't know. It's it's all coming to help COVID. Golden. Oh, you thought it was about you, Adam, and it was called "Let Me Shelter in Them Cheeks." Y yeah. <laughs> like, how did you know? Spin that wheel. <laughs> this comment is from the the Sims, the newest Sims video, getting sexy in the Sims Four, from Zachary Critton. This whole series is a great 80s comedy. Aloof protagonist, beautiful love interest, a shady business stealing his house, and now he has to get it back all to make up for his cheated term paper. I thought that was a funny summation of the series we've been doing. You know, it maybe not, hey, you have a little chuckle, you, you smile. You give it a little half smile when you read it. Yeah, Adam laughs out loud when no, he reads it. No, I, I laughed at you mocking <laughs> the comment me. because you clearly don't think too highly of it. That is not true. That is not true. That is not true. I love when Elise looks down on things. When she gets up on her, what's above Walmart? Target? I forget. But either way, <laughs> she gets on that Walmart plus horse. Sam's and just, Club. Sam, yeah. It's a very exclusive club. What's I better, said. Sam's Club or Costco? No, you, you pay like $30 and you're in. Costco's better. <laughs> Well, thank you, Adam. And thank you, Zachary, for such an astute and hilarious comment. And thank you, Stamps.com, for sponsoring this episode. So for all of our sakes, we need to avoid crowds in any way we can right now. But what if you need to go to the post office? It's a service that is sometimes something you just can't skip. 
What if you need postage to send out letters and packages? Well, I've got really good news for you. Stamps.com is here to help. With Stamps.com, you can print postage on demand and skip those lines and crowds at the post office altogether. Plus, you can actually save money with discounts that you can't even get at the post office. Also, if that wasn't enough, Stamps.com also offers UPS services with discounts up to 62% and no UPS residential charges. Listen, I get it. It's really hard to figure out how to operate your business or work within a business structure, all from home, especially when outgoing and incoming packages is a major part of the equation. But stamps.com brings all the services of the US Postal Service right to your computer in the safety and comfort of your own home, office, or anywhere else you might be hunkering down right now. Whether you're a small business sending invoices, an online seller shipping out products, or you're just working from home and need to mail some stuff, stamps.com can handle it all with ease. All you gotta do is use your computer to print official US postage 24 seven for any letters, any packages, any class of mail, anywhere you wanna send it. Once your mail is ready, you just leave it for your mail carrier, schedule a package pickup or drop it in a mailbox. No human contact is required for any of this. It's that simple. And like I said, with stamps.com, you get great discounts too. Five cents off every first class stamp and up to 60% off shipping rates. Stamps.com, especially right now, is a no brainer, saving you time and money and keeping you safe in these wild times. Right now, our viewers can get a special offer that includes a four week trial plus free postage and a digital scale without any long term commitment. You just go to stamps.com, click on the microphone at the top of the homepage and type in open house. That's stamps.com, enter O-P-E-N-H-A-U-S. Stay safe, my friends. Oh yeah, who are we hiring? Which which comment are we hiring? Well, I think we should do Paul D for sure, because if he and Lindsay are gonna get together, we gotta start making that happen in workplace romance. I'm not getting any younger. We don't. don't we know it? Jesus. <laughs>